All right, so on these papers that you guys wrote, on these notes that you were supposed to take, okay? The purpose of what I was trying to get you to do was to start focusing, um, for those of you that had to do the events, the, fifth, the sixth grade, that had to do the events, I wanted you to focus on the things that, that you're gonna be focusing on when you do your paper itself, okay? Now, you guys didn't get to do your paper last year. We never got a chance to do it because by the time that it, it came around fourth quarter when you were going to do it, on the person, whoever it was that you were gonna, does anybody remember who they were gonna do last year? Did you guys have a, I think you had a, a person, but I don't remember, do you remember who yours was? Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone, okay, so, um, do you remember who yours was? I don't think that's a name. What's that? Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, okay. Louisa May Alcott, okay. Um, and so, so what you're looking at then, and of course that's what you guys are doing this year is an, an individual person, fifth grade. Sixth grade though, now you're doing an event. But every, every, both of these papers are done in a similar fashion. The sixth grade's paper this year is on an event. You're doing the stuff that came before the event, the stuff that happened during the event, and then the results after the event. That's what you're doing it on. Okay, those are the three sections. Fifth grade, you're doing yours on the person. You're doing it on their background, their early life. You're doing it on their accomplishments during their life, and then you're doing it on their later life. So there are three parts, which is what I wanted you to focus on when you were doing your... Um, your papers that you're doing. Um, I see some here and I asked you to take notes on them. I didn't ask you to write paragraphs and like OSTOPs here, it's all in paragraph form. Okay, that doesn't help you. I also wanted you to separate them by early life, accomplishments, and later life. No, no, don't even ask me because that's what I said. I was very clear. You have everything written, it's one paragraph. That's all you have. No? This is Phil's, oh, you're right, Phil's with you, okay. Well, so you got one more. Okay. I better take the czars out too before I get on him. All right. So anyway, so here you have uh, somebody has the intolerable acts. Okay, that's Kaylin. All right. She has uh, separated things that led up to it. The Stamp Act of 1765. The people of Massachusetts defied the British policies. Um, they they thought were holding them back. Uh, shown resentment to quartering British troops. Okay, which quartering means who who knows what that was? That was in one of your uh, recent. Uh, Housing? Yeah, housing. You're, that was in yours, guys. You guys did the military stuff, right? Yeah. All right, Boston Tea Party in 1773, that rebellious act for other colonies to see it as an example to other colonies who are rebellious. Yeah, a little, little strange on that, but okay. Um, anyway, so the idea, and then she says info about the event itself. She said made up of acts that are intolerable. You would want to explain that a little bit more clearly because that doesn't mean people don't know, necessarily know what that meant. Uh, the Boston Port Act closed trade in the Boston Harbor. Quartering Act, colonists had to provide rooms for British soldiers. The Administration of Justice Act removed British officials of the court of Massachusetts. In other words, there was that fighting that was going on. Um, and so you have uh, separated by those three things. She has the one thing that what led up to, what it led up to, and it led up to the American Revolution. There were some other things that actually, several things that it led up to besides that, but that was one of the things. And so you see how she's taken that and she's separated them into different parts. Yuri, now is not the time to do that thing I told you you're supposed to do when? Right, okay? So this is what you're supposed to be doing is listening to me. All right, not doing your own thing. Now that's on video. Alina and Elijah are going to have to watch that now. They're probably going to feel horrible for you. Actually, they may laugh at you, who knows? Um, but uh, Nazar here, he has six different things that he got on his. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, it's on the Louisiana Purchase, I guess. It says that North America purchased by the U.S. from France in 1803, more than 800,000 square miles. The states that were um, are present day, the states that are in the Louisiana Purchase, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, uh, Oklahoma, nearly all of Kansas, Wyoming, and Colorado. And then Louisiana was originally settled by the French in the early 18th century. Um, the price agreed on was $15 million. The Louisiana Purchase stands. Now, you didn't separate them, though, by category, which one went where. Okay, um, you have Angelica's, is she, um, what is it about, the grammar schools? Okay, so she, hers was about the grammar schools, and you guys may not know what those are. You think, grammar school, yeah, that's elementary school. No, these were different. The grammar schools were schools that were specifically teaching certain subjects, like Latin was one of the things. Um, and it says, um, originally a school of Greek and Latin origin, I think is what it's supposed to be there. Um, and they had other subjects as well. Graded system of public schools, life in U.S., 
term has come to be synonymous with the term elementary school today, that, that thing. And that's all the notes she has. She didn't separate them either. Here, Yuri has his. His is done in a uh, bubble form. Okay, that bubble form is, can be very helpful to you if you want to get things organized. He has the gold rush and statehood. I would assume that mean, you mean for California, right? Yeah. Okay, you need to make sure you're clear about things because that's one thing. You want to write things down that are going to be understandable to everybody. Um, it says it wasted, oh, during, wasted it foolishly. It wasted what foolishly? Gold. Doesn't even say that. It's, it's connected to during. That's what it says. You have here on the side, it says the gold uh, rush and statehood, and it has here during, before, and after. During, wasted it foolishly. So you see how it, you know because you're the one that did it. But what will happen is this. When you guys are taking your notes, Vanessa, I need you to pay attention, please. Not, not do writing right now. When you guys are taking your notes and when you're looking for information, you need to write down all the information you need so it's clear to anybody who reads it what you're talking about. Don't just say, I, 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 don't, I couldn't tell you how many times. I tell people to take notes. They'll take a note and they'll put in there, they went to uh, the end of the line. Who went to what end of what line? What are you talking about? Because you have to make sure you're clear in your notes of what you're writing about. You may know, and you might remember when it comes time that you're going to use those notes, but it's also likely, as some of you know from your poor handwriting or some other things that you write down for notes, that sometimes you can't remember what those things are. And so when you're writing notes, you'll, you'll, we'll get to that later, you're going to make sure that you're clear on it. He has the after, some of the aftermaths that left ghost towns, um, or many ghost towns, and then move prices, made prices go down, prices of gold, I assume you're talking about. See, you didn't really explain that. I, and I know, it could have been prices of the buildings, because you talked about the ghost town. So I don't know which one you're talking about. They created Monopoly, the game Monopoly, huh? They created Monopoly? Yeah, they created Monopoly, the game Monopoly? The state of California and the gold rush? Huh? That's not what I was talking about. You have no idea what a Monopoly is, do you? What's a, what's a Monopoly? No. <laughs> the game Monopoly is based on an idea that a Monopoly is controlled by, at the, the time back in the eight, late 1800s, by robber barons. People who controlled entire industries, they could set the prices. You had robber barons who controlled the banks. You had robber barons who controlled the steel industry. You had robber barons who controlled the train, the, the, the transportation system of the United States. And eventually the U.S. government decided that that was illegal and they had to break up those, um, those companies because they basically controlled everything of it. And that, that, that was made illegal in the United States to do that, to have a monopoly. However, today we have tech companies that are doing exactly the same thing. Okay? We have tech companies like Facebook. Who, who competes against Facebook? Twitter. No, Twitter's not the same thing as Facebook. Twitter is just a... Um, I mean, they sort of do. They're all social media. But at the same time, who can, who can stop them from... Uh, keeping people's free speech? Who can stop them from uh, taking away people's free speech, like President Trump? Huh? Who can stop them from doing that? Who? Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, any of those social media places. What? Oh. Never mind. You're, you need to listen. You're not listening. I asked you a question. I, but you weren't listening. So anyway, that's all right. Uh, so we have that one from uh, Yuri. Ella's, it says... I don't know what hers is about. She just has a list of seven things. And why you put Elizabeth, I would visit Oxford University and then officially begin. What does that mean? It's, it's a school, how they, how they, um, how they started it. Oh, Elizabeth I yeah. visited Oxford University and then it officially began. What year did it happen? It didn't say what year. No, are you no. sure? No idea at all? Okay. College groups were warmly received by Oxford. Is this in uh, England? Oxford? These are things you should know. I mean, you should be able to find, find out. Uh, there was a lot of information about Oxford, wasn't there? And yet you got seven notes. Okay. Um, lots of students and teachers come to, came to Oxford from North America and Paris to live in Oxford. They lived communally instead of separately. The groups eventually developed to Oxford colleges, uh, not two, but T-O. All right, Battle of Cold Harbor. 
Valianas, bloodiest war in the Civil War, all right, from May 31st to June 12th, it lasted. In Cold Harbor, Richmond is where it was. The leader was Ulysses S. Grant of the Union Army. The Federal Army, 60,000 men, Robert E. Lee. The battle started in the afternoon of June 1st. Um, it ended on June 12th. A Union lost 13,000 men, and the Confederates lost 2,600 men. Uh, organization on the back side, it says, um, she gives the where, she gives the men killed or wounded, she gives leaders, um, the number of men that were involved in the battle. Um, so somewhat, okay, although you didn't do the before, the after, and the during part. You just kind of separate them in different ways. Um, all these can be adjusted, by the way. Here's one from Elizabeth. It is a long paragraph. Again, this is not what you are supposed to do, okay? Here's one that is separated. Matthew, what led up to the event, he has lighter planes were created. European chief, is that what it is? Had the idea to control the air with, what is this, what is this whole thing on? World War II what? Um, air warfare. Just World War II? Is it air warfare. Air warfare. Okay, so um, European uh, chief had the idea to control of the air with the with equipped planes. Attack on Pearl Harbor made American join. Okay, that's not about the uh, the aircraft thing. Uh, and at least not what you wrote, it wasn't specifically. Germany and Nazis began in 1939 after attack on Pearl Harbor, America joined, you already said that. That's another thing you gotta be careful of when you take notes. Don't take the same notes over and over again. You know, when you, when you have to have a certain number of notes, don't have a note from one source and then the same note from another source because that's just, that's just a note, this, this doesn't count as a second note. A lot of plane warfare on Poland. <laughs> the Germans failed, the Luftwaffe destroyed the Polish Air Force. It says Germans fail, though, but they destroyed the Polish Air Force. How is that a fail? Back in time. <laughs> the note was a fail. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, brutal war, mostly air warfare, plane. Is that supposed to be debris? Results? What is that? F A F A E T O R Y. Factory. Plane factory results. Oh, no. Results is the next line. Okay. Plane factory, mostly air warfare, brutal war. Plane factory. What does that mean? But you see what I'm saying? When you guys take notes, it needs to be clear, okay? Uh, Schlock had things leading up to the event. Florence Nightingale studied nursing. She began uh, training in nursing at the Institute of St. Vincent de Paul in Alexandria, Egypt. She subsequently studied at their Institute for Protestant Deaconesses at Kaiser's Worth, Germany. Um, during the event, after the Crim Crimean War, Broke out in 1854. Nightingale stirred by the reports of the primitive sanitation methods and grossly inadequate uh, nursing facilities at the large barracks hospital at Uskadar. Uskadar. Uh, nursing departments were developed, and Nightingale founded the Nightingale School and Home at St. Thomas Hospital in London. The results a Crimean monument in Water 2 Palace. Huh? Is that two or Waterloo? It is Water Two Palace in London uh, was erected. In honor, she wrote books on nursing, two of them being notes on nursing for the laboring class. Uh, she became the first woman, not women, she's not more than one person, so M A N should be, to receive the British Order of Merit. Okay, so there, it was separated very well. She he had the before, he had the during, and he had the after, the things that led up to it, and so that was very, very well done. Here's another one. It's all in an encyclopedia. Okay, about uh, from Andre Herschel Glenn, J John Herschel Glenn, John Glenn Jr., um, who is the first person in the, in the U.S. to uh, orbit the Earth in space. Um, Kalev, he has his background in, separated this way. He has got three columns. He's got the background information, um, things that he accomplished, I guess, in a later life. Yes. Um. I forgot to write his name. His, name was, his middle name was Herschel. So, who is it? it was, uh, I don't have his first name or his last name. Uh, uh, what was the name of the person? Uh, can I check? Huh? Can wouldn't, I that, wouldn't that be important when you guys are writing information know. down to know who it is? Okay? Who, who was it? You don't know who it was? Can I check? No. I want to know who it was. Describe him. He what did he do? Please stop. Thank you. What? He was an astronomer. He was an astronomer. Okay. He found a planet. He called it 
on George. George. Oh, the planet George, okay. George? <laughs> George. George. Planet, <laughs> discovered a new planet, known for astronomer, known for, oh no, astronomer, discovered a new planet, private astrom astronomer to king, named his new planet after the king, planet George, is that why, because it's King George? Yeah, George the, 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 the like, 50th. 50th? Yeah! Uh, yeah. yeah. The poor, poor George the 49th, you know, he didn't even know there was going to be a 50th. Um, Ostop, he wrote about early life, about the King, King William Mackenzie, um, and he, he has three things about his early life, he has three things about what he did, and he has three things about his later life, exactly what you're supposed to do, and taking notes like that. Now, when you guys do your research papers, it's going to be a lot more than that. You're going to be doing a lot more than just three notes of each part. You're going to be, first, that's why we're going to cover the outline. And I know some of you already, I can see, like Angelica's face, she's ready to fall asleep right now. Because this is like so boring listening to all these things. I know that. But we have to go through this so that you guys understand what to do. What? Oh, amazing. You have such great organizational skills. I know that it's... Uh, so he has his written as back, uh, background of the crusade. So he was talking about the background of the crusades. He has information about the crusade. And he has results of the crusades. And he has like six things for the background. He has four things, five things for the, I mean, three, four things for the information and then two results. So you're going to find that it's not always going to be equal of every section either. Um, so via American Civil War. Okay, nice long paragraph. Nikki, he only has five things all together. What? Doesn't say who it's about. I said, I did. It says, this is what it says. Nikki, Mr. Jones, 5921, language, Plato. Oh, so you have it over there. <laughs> Lived from 928, no, 428 to 327 BC. So he was 99 years old when he died. Um, he was born to a Romanian aristocrat is that what that's supposed to say i guess it does you you really need a roman aristocrat not a romanian roman aristocrat you need to start capitalizing things that need to be capitalized write neatly separate your words from one another you have every letter right next to each other you don't separate your words one big word. family in Al athens his father died in his childhood he became a disciple of socrates he Traveled to Italy, Sicily, and Egypt. Yeah, you have notes, but you didn't finish it. You really didn't do everything you're supposed to do. Vanessa has about uh, Louis Braille, the person who invented Braille. Um, he has the background. She has background information, all bulleted, very nicely done. Has information about when he was born, when he died. Put your hand down. French teacher of the blind, blind science, blind sense. He was age three. In 1818, you, you uh, need to learn. How to spell sense, but um, any, I thought it was science, but it's sense. In 1818, uh, Ventas, a foundling to National Institute for Young Young Blind in Paris. Is that what that is? Paris? Is that what he was? Um, soon showing, he marked the ability in both science and music. He became famous in Paris, organist and violist. Linus, he invented Braille. They invented Braille, that would be the important thing, one of the important things in his life. So um, you have all those information. What are those information about? Just his early life, because you don't have it separated. You have his early life here. Oh, I see. What you did was you get all the information, then you put it in different parts. Okay, I see. All right, so, all right. Another one, Katie, she's separated into three parts, just like she was supposed to. And then you have Daniel, background information, a lot of, what you will find is a lot of background information for most of the time when you have a person. You're going to find a lot of background information, but you've got to make sure that you get a lot of information about the things they did because that's really the more important thing about their lives. Where they were born, how many brothers and sisters they had, and all that information. Yeah, that's somewhat important, but it's nowhere near as important as what they did in their life because that's why they're well-known. They're not well-known because they had ten brothers and sisters. <laughs> Unless they killed them all or something like that. Um, anyway, so he has some accomplishments. He discovered a uh, pre-Phoenician script, and he unearthed the palace of uh, Knossos on Crete. He, in his later life, he was knighted. That was one of the um, things in the later life. All right, so you have that information. Okay, those are the things. I think all these I read already. All right, so those are the things that you have that you will be... Um, you guys have a better understanding now of what to do. Now, 
When we come back after recess, then we get to start talking about outlines. We get to start talking about taking notes, and we get to start talking about bibliography cards. All three of those things will be talked about today. Yes. So get ready, though. When we do this, I want you guys focused on this so you know exactly what to do. Because we are hitting the ground running. You're going to start writing your paper next week. Not all of it. You're just going to start writing some things about your paper next week. You're going to start taking notes this week. Your outlines are going to be due. Okay, now, I'm not... Don't, don't be scared. It, you'll be okay. You will live. Okay? But remember, for those... Put your hand down for a minute. For those of you that have... Um, need information, need to find books, or need to find uh, particularly stuff on the internet that I will print for you, and you're not able to be here in the afternoons. Some people stayed yesterday and they got a lot of information. But you will be able to um, do that. I'm also going to actually show you on, online how to do certain things or how to research certain things. Okay? Yes? Can we do the research from home? Of course. We have yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can do it at home. I, I would want you to be doing it not just while you're here at school. This is going to be something, it always has been something that was done outside of school, not done in school. Now, I'm giving, because we have that two hours in the afternoon, I'm giving you opportunity to get help in the afternoon. That's why um, I'm doing that. Yes? Will we go upstairs this week and probably... Next week, too, yeah. Now, don't forget, your book report is due this Friday. However... I'm going to give you an extension to Monday. So if you wanted some, please, oh, stop, please. Okay. Maybe you get so excited next time you'll jump out of those pants that are illegal for you to wear and you can find some new pants over there. Okay. All right. And so, uh, in fact, we could go look for some for you. If that would be. Yes, they are. They're not, they're denim. They're, they're not the right thing. Oh, sorry about that. We'll stop this right now. <laughs> <laughs>